Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The Gospel of St. John is filled with miracles and signs. Among them, miraculous signs in the village of Cana in Galilee is very much significant. So also is today's healing act of Jesus of a royal official's son who was at the point of death. When I read both the passages and try to reflect over it, immediately the statement of Jesus strikes my conscience. That is, unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, I strongly believe Jesus' miracles were meant to be an invitation addressed to all of us, an invitation to open our hearts, be converted, and moreover, to realize that Jesus is a true lover and compassionate master. The healing act of Jesus was always motivated by compassion. Often in the gospel, we find whenever Jesus healed people, it was either by touching or pronouncing the word. In today's gospel too, the little boy was healed by the power of his word. Jesus used word to cast out the demons, to forgive sins, to heal and so on. His word can heal even at a distance if it is received with faith. Same thing happened to the official. From far away, he believed in the word and he found his little boy alive. My dear brothers and sisters, when we look into our daily lives, most of us require one or the other healing touch of Jesus, but we fail to receive it because of the lack of faith. The gift of faith is very much necessary for the follower of Christ because it is an act of being open to divine grace. Therefore, great theologian St. Thomas Aquinas defines faith as an act of the intellect assenting to divine truth under the influence of the will moved by divine grace. It is faith that we should seek first, not miracles or healings. Faith helps us to seek God and the values of the kingdom. All the other material blessings are only result of such faith in God. Let us pray for such faith in our daily life which is not rested on signs and miracles. Amen.